Here's another video to demonstrate the latest updates to the Dan2 controller card firmware. There's some new features which uh, make it quite a bit more flexible uh, when you configure the card. So, well, let's start to have a look what the, um, the boot menu looked like before. You would just start the machine, you could uh, press return to enter the menu, and then you had the option, um, you, know, you would see the volumes um, stored on the two SD cards, um, and then you had the option to select uh, one volume from the first card and one volume from the second card. And these would be your Prodos drives 1 and 2, and the machine would always boot uh, from drive 1, so uh, it was kind of important to use the first SD card slot uh, by default. So, yeah, that was quite good. Uh, it's quite easy to understand, quite easy to, to configure, but um, it was missing a bit of uh, flexibility, so we'll just uh, run an update to the latest... Um, yeah, update that I did. I just call this uh, version 3 of the firmware. There's a disk. Uh, you can download this uh, on my GitHub. Um, that uh, contains the firmware update utility and also contains all the other utilities uh, from the controller project. So we just run, run the firmware update. It's just a matter of seconds and we are done. So, not too much has changed on the first uh, look. You still get the list of volumes of both uh, SD cards and you can still select uh, two drives. So, in fact, uh, if you don't care about the, same, the new features, you can just keep using it exactly like you did before, so it didn't get much uh, more complicated. So, you can uh, pick one uh, volume from the first card and then pick one from the second card. But if you look closely, it's no longer asking about um, SD card 1 and SD card 2. It's just uh, asking about whatever you want to be your Prodos drive 1. And now you have the option to switch between the cards. So the first product, uh, Prodos drive can be any of the uh, 32 volumes. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's on the first or on the second card. So you can configure anything. In this case, we'll just uh, select SD card 2, volume number 1, and that's going to be our boot drive um, for Brothers drive number 1. And then you confirm by pressing uh, Enter, of course, and then obviously you have the option to select the second Brothers drive. And again, you can pick any of the 32 uh, volumes. It doesn't matter if it's on the same card or on the other card. So you're just free to pick anything. And you can also pick the same um, volume. In that case, of course, you won't get uh, this volume mapped twice, but in this case, it will just uh, the second drive will be disabled and you only get uh, one Prodos drive. So that's also kind of a feature. So, yeah, when you're done, again, you press uh, Enter to confirm. And you will notice it's really quick now, so it doesn't do a full uh, reset like I did before, but uh, after you complete the selection, it will just immediately boot whatever you just selected. I think there was someone also on the uh, Apple Fritter forum uh, asking about it, um, why it was going to do a full reset. And yeah, there was reasons for that, but uh, of course that could be changed. There's a few other uh, things that have changed. Um, for example, the um, before there was was a bit of a difference whether you were using FAT formatted um, SD cards or SD cards uh, with a file system that you could just plug into your Windows or Mac computer and just uh, manage the uh, volumes uh, separately. And the other option was to use uh, raw block mode where you would uh, store the data for uh, the uh, 16 volumes like in a just uh, without using any file system, just like uh, in raw uh, blocks on the disk. That um, no longer matters uh, which kind of SD card you use for any of the features. So that's completely uh, ir irrelevant uh, feature-wise. So, um, yeah, you won't even notice when you look at the boot menu. It will just detect whatever card you have and there's no manual configuration. So, um, yeah. Also, for those who use the really advanced feature, um, all volumes, that's a utility that Daniel um, added to the project right from the beginning, 
That's a utility which allows you to map up to 16 drives at the same time if you use uh, Prodas 8. But that was all, uh, only working with uh, raw um, formatted or raw block uh, SD cards. And that now doesn't matter any longer. So you can also use this utility uh, with yeah, normal uh, FAT formatted uh, SD cards. So those differences are completely gone. So it doesn't matter what uh, format you use. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a slight performance difference maybe, so if um, you use the, the raw block disks it might be slightly faster in switching uh, between the volumes, but uh, for the speed on an Apple II um, it usually uh, it doesn't matter. You, you probably won't even notice uh, the difference uh, between the two um, cards or the two card types. And well, of course, the other features, uh, they, they all still work. For example, uh, the Ethernet uh, FTP option. There's also something, I'm not quite sure when I added this, uh, might be in there for a bit longer. So you can just press the uh, letter I for IP address and you can just uh, uh, do the IP configuration just right from this uh, boot menu. You no longer need a separate utility to set up uh, the, the Ethernet option. You just enter it. And yeah, once you configured uh, the, uh, the IP address, it will also show up here that the FTP server is running and you have remote, uh, remote access to your um, SD cards. Uh, of course, that option only works if you plugged one of these uh, WizNet uh, Ethernet adapters to your uh, controller card, which is an option like also very cheap. It's about, I don't know, 10 bucks or something for these uh, Ethernet uh, adapters. Yeah, I think that's uh, the most important uh, feature. There's a few bug fixes, a few other things that have changed, but I think that's the uh, the the most important stuff uh, to show to show off. Thanks and have fun.